Hey guys, welcome back. Frosty Gaming here to bring you another Unity tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about shortcuts in Unity. So, hotkeys, you know, things to make development a little bit easier, a little bit faster. There's a few of these that are really awesome. I've talked about a few before in my previous videos, but I'm going to go through just about every single one of them right now, and hopefully you'll use them in the future. First off, up here in this in the toolbar, we've got these which I kinda explain what they do. I'm gonna make a Q real fast. I've explained these earlier. So Q will give us this hand, right? And this lets you move yourself around the scene if you hold Alt and drag, you move yourself around the scene. Right mouse button pans in and out. Middle click does this. Middle scroll does this. Alright, so that moves yourself. W brings you to the translate tool, which allows you to do this to objects. E, rotate tool. Rotate objects. I'm actually going to bring this up a little bit further. Alright, and R is the scale tool. And let's go back to the translate tool real fast. I'm not, I'm just gonna move it a little bit. Aside from these, we've got V, which changes the pivot versus center, which is the pivot mode. X changes from local to global. I explained those in an earlier video. If we hit Control D with a object selected, then we make a copy of it and you can see that I just made a copy like that and this is going to help me demonstrate another shortcut V so if we hit V you can see that uh, my cursor is locking onto the verte vertices of each object well if we left click and bring it over it will attach to any other vertices so that's the bottom vertice there any other vertice on an object so there we go, those two objects are together. So this will really help you like put objects together really flush. So if we select both of these, we can hit control. If we just hit control and move it around, you can see it's kind of snapping, and that's exactly what it's doing. It's the snap shortcut. It'll snap to the grid up through the Y, Z, and X axis. We can also do control shift N and this makes a new game object it's just an empty game object it doesn't have anything in it but uh, maybe that shortcut will help some people I'm going to delete that and you can delete things just by hitting the delete button when they're selected I'm actually going to delete this one as well if we hit control alt F it moves the game object into our view so if we move it, say here, and we hit F, it moves us so that the game object's in the view. But if we uh, move it again and we hit Control Alt F, it moves the game object so that it's in our view, in our focus. It's our frame, I guess, is what most people call it. We can change the active windows that we have based off of hotkeys. So if we hold Control and 1, it gives us the scene view which we're already in. If we hold control 2 it goes to the game view so 1, 2. 3 is the inspector. 4 is the hierarchy. 5 is the project. 6 is the animation so if you don't have that open which the default doesn't then that'll bring it up. Control 6. Control 7 is the profiler. It doesn't pop up when I hit it because the profiler is only a pro feature, so you're not going to have that if you're using the free version, which is what I'm using right now. Control 9 is the asset store, so it's going to take a little while for it to load up. 
since I'm opening it up for the first time and I don't really want to deal with the asset store so I'm just gonna close out of it but control 9 is the asset store control shift C is the console down here another really good one to know is control Z so control Z pretty much undoes it, it's undo it's a shortcut for uh, undo what I've done so if we undo 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 we can go back pretty far right control Y is redo so we undo and then redo this goes back and forth that's only for Windows if you want to do it in a Mac you're gonna to have to do command and every time I say control if you're using a Mac just think command to redo in Macs you're gonna to want to do command shift Z and that will redo it control X is cut and Control C is copy and Control V is paste, just like any other program or just Windows in general. These are really good shortcuts to know for files or folders. We did Command D to duplicate, right? But we could also do Command C, Command V. It's the same thing. That's copy and paste. Another shortcut is Control F, and that will put you up in the search bar if you want to find something. So Control F is defined. Control A selects everything. Control P will play and stop playing. Control Shift P when it's playing will pause and unpause and Control Alt P will step. So this pretty much is what it does. And lastly Control R is to refresh. So if you changed your assets outside of Unity in the folder structure you can do control R and it will update it. Alright that's about it thanks for watching guys I hope you use these hotkeys to speed up your development help you do some things maybe you weren't sure how to do and I'll see you later.